Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel Master Computer Science Subjects. Today in this video we are going to discuss about syntax free directed acyclic graph as well as its corresponding three address code. Already in my previous video uh, I have taught how to construct syntax tree and its corresponding STD. Now for these expressions I have taken four expressions here for these expressions we are going to construct syntax tree DAG as well as we are going to write three address code also. Before that let us see what is DAG. DAG the acronym is directed acyclic graph. It is a variant of syntax tree. Leaf nodes in the DAG represent the operands and the interior nodes represent the operators. The purpose of DAG is to identify the common sub expression in the given expression. The major difference between the syntax tree and the DAG is if there is a node n and if that node n represents a common sub expression then that node n may have more than one parent. Okay, I have given an example here. I have taken an expression, a very simple expression, i is equal to i plus 10. For this expression, I have drawn syntax tree as well as DAG. First, let us see the syntax tree. For i and for 10, the leaf nodes are created. And then this leaf nodes are connected to the interior node plus. In the sense, i plus t, the operation is done. So the value at this node is nothing but i plus 10. Then this value is being assigned to i. So this graph is syntax tree. Now for the same expression, I am going to construct the DAG. Before that, let us see what is the common thing available. i is a common thing. i appears more than once. i is used in the evaluation of the expression. Once the expression is evaluated, the value is assigned to i itself. So this is a DAG. Again in the DAG also we have created a leaf node for i, leaf node for 10 and i plus 10 is done. The plus is represented as the interior node here. At this node the value i plus 10 is available and the result or the result of this expression is being assigned to i itself. Look here, I have not created one more time i. The i, whatever is created, the same i is used to refer. Uh, to refer. So that's how the common sub expression here is i. i has more than one parent. One of the parents is plus, another one is equal to. Okay, now we see some more examples to construct syntax tree as well as DAG. Now let us see one more expression a plus b plus a plus b. So how this expression is evaluated? All the operators are plus right then it is left associative. So first this a plus b is added and its result is added with this a and further the result is added with b. So I have constructed a syntax tree here. This is the syntax tree which is uh, written in a black pen. So first of all, a leaf node is created for A, a leaf node is created for B, then both are added. This is the first subtree created. At this node, A plus B is available. Now with this A plus B, A is to be added, isn't it? That's what. So A plus B, A are added. Please observe that I am developing the tree, uh, the DAG, I'm sorry, syntax tree on the right hand side because the expression also A appears on the right hand side. So A plus B plus A is done. So what is the value available at this node? A plus B plus A is available. Now this A plus B plus A is added with B finally. So the value at this node is nothing but the value of the entire expression. This is how the syntax tree is to be constructed. Okay. Now if I construct DAG for the same expression, first I need to create a leaf node for A, leaf node for B, both are added. So at this junction A plus B is available. Now this A plus B is added with A again. So already A, the leaf node is created, just we are referring to it. So A plus B is added with A. So what is the value at this node? 
at this node the value is a plus b plus a now a plus b plus a must be added with b by the way a plus b plus a plus b so this is how the dag is to be constructed for the given expression now i am going to teach how to generate the three address code before that let us see what is three address code three address code is a type of intermediate code right in the phases of uh, compiler design this is one of the phase intermediate code generation mostly the compiler uses most of the compiler uses the popular intermediate code form is three address code in short we can call it as 3ac it can be easily converted into machine code that is why it is very popular and every instruction at the most it will be having three addresses and one operator to represent the expression and the value which is computed at every instruction is assigned to a temporary variable and this temporary variable is generated by compiler okay this is the introduction about three address code now let us convert this dag into three address code let us just walk through this drag from the bottom of the tree a plus b is the first operation so let us assume that that is being assigned to a variable t1 so t1 is equal to a plus b then what is happening this a plus b is added with a right so another temporary variable is generated let us call it as t2 here so what is the value of t2 t2 is equal to this a plus b plus a a plus b is already available in t1 so t1 plus a right now at this interior node one more temporary variable is generated which we call it as t3 what is t3 just check what is its right child and what is its left child its left child is t2 we know what is t2 in turn and its right child is what it is b so t3 is equal to t2 plus b this is how the three address code is being generated just by walking over the dag okay now we see one more example the same a plus b plus a plus b provided there is a bracket normally in an expression parenthesis is given the more priority so this a plus b will be executed first then this a will be added with b then finally the a plus b will added with this parenthesis a plus b so let us see how to create a syntax tree for this first a leaf node for a and a leaf node for b is created both are added right now a plus b is a common sub expression already a plus b is added after this portion of expression is executed this portion will be executed isn't it because left associative a plus a will be added with b which is already available now this a plus b must be added with this a plus b so create a interior node for plus its left child is also a plus b and its right child is also a plus b this is the dag for the given expression i think sorry i started like syntax tree but i finally constructed dag okay let us construct syntax tree again for the sake of clarity leaf node for a plus b a and b are created a plus b is done then again this a plus b will be done so a b leaf nodes are created both are added then this a plus b is added with this a plus b so this is the syntax tree for the given expression and this is a dag for the given expression from the dag we can easily identify the common sub expression is a plus b and this is a node which has more than one parent node which is again plus as well as this plus all right now from the dag i'm going to write the three address code for this expression so just keep on adding the temporary variables at the interior nodes let this is t1 let this is t2 so what is t1 t1 is equal to a plus b what is t2 t2 is equal to t1 plus t1 that's all
we generated the three address code now we see one last example this expression is often asked in the video question paper so let us see this example first i am going to construct the syntax tree for this expression the expression is a is equal to a into b minus c plus b minus c into d this is the expression so first let us see how this expression will be evaluated parenthesized sub expression will be evaluated so b minus c will be evaluated now i'm going to construct the syntax tree first so a leaf node for b and c are created both are connected by the operation minus so b minus c is done there is another b minus c in the expression right so of course i need to create a subtree for that also so b minus c is evaluated right now which operation will happen first a into b minus c will happen so let us include that in our syntax tree so a into b minus c is done after that which operation will happen b minus c into d because multiplication operator has the highest priority so b minus c into d is happening after that this a will be added with a into b minus c then finally this plus operation will happen so how do i do that here i have to create an interior node with plus now with this a is to be added in the sense a plus a into b minus c is done what is the other half of the subtree b minus c into d now a plus a into b minus c must be added with b minus c into d so this is the syntax tree for the given expression now if i draw the dag for this uh, uh, expression the tree structure won't be this big now for the same expression let us construct the dag dag will help us to identify the common sub expression the common sub expression here is b minus c as well as a also so let us see how to construct the dag now b minus c we have constructed the part of the sub tree in the dag once again the same operation appears here but we will not be representing in the form of a dag b minus c is done now this b minus c uh, first it is multiplied with a now the same b minus c is multiplied with d also now this a into b minus c is added with a so plus a node is created and it is added with a for a node if you observe what is the left and the right child you can easily observe what is happening to the plus the left child is a so a plus to the right of plus we have the entire subtree in fact what is the meaning of here here it is a into b minus c so a plus a into b minus c is happening now after that this a plus a into b minus c must be added with b minus c into d so we have to create a node for plus its left child is this its right child is b minus c into d so this is how the dag is to be constructed now from the dag we are going to generate the three address code now from the bottom of the tree i'm going to uh, give the uh, i'm going to use a temporary variable so this is t1 so what is t1 t1 is equal to b minus c after this we performed this operation so this is t2 so what is t2 t2 is equal to the left child is a the right child is t1 so a into t1 after this this operation is performed so let me call this node as t3 now so what is t3 t3 is equal to nothing but b minus c into d b minus c is already defined as t1 t1 into d 
right after this operation we performed a plus a into b minus c in the same order we have to keep assigning the temporary variable so here i name it t4 so what is t4 the left child of t4 is a and the right child of t4 is t2 we know what is t2 here t2 is nothing but a into t1 so t4 is equal to a into t2 finally one more temporary variable at this node which is t5 so what is t5 observe the left child of t5 the left child of t5 is t4 and the right child of t5 is t3 so t4 uh, t5 is equal to t4 plus t3 this is how the three address code is to be generated I hope you would have understood or got the basic idea of DAG, Syntax Tree and 3 address code. I will meet you people in the next video with more number of examples. Thank you.